Hi, this is David Reasoner here with your Ridgewood Country Club Tip of the Week. This week we're here to talk to you about what type of putter best fits your game. And in the game this year, we've seen a lot of different styles of putting and a lot of different putter lengths. It's been a large, somewhat of a controversy as to should we allow the long putters, the belly putters. Um, if you look at our last three champions, major champions, you'll get Webb Simpson winning the U.S. Open using a belly putter. Keegan Bradley won the PGA Championship with a belly putter. And just uh, last week, you saw Ernie Els win the British Open Championship using a belly putter. Um, so we're here today to talk to you a little bit about the differences in the putters, how to use them, and ask you to co come out, try them out, and see which one works best for you. Um, we've also seen a change in grips. You can see that there's a lot of these new grips out there, much thicker than what was a traditional grip. What this grip does, and the main fault we see in putting, is we, we see the left wrist break down through the hitting area. And so the larger grips will restrict your left wrist from breaking down and you'll keep it solid so that putter face stays towards the target and you hit straighter putts. What we see a lot is your left wrist breaking down into this position where you can either push the putt or pull the putt. Now if you look at the long putter and the belly putter, they take that completely out of the game. Because we teach a pendulum stroke in putting where your hands back and through, back and through without a lot of breakdown, the long putter basically takes that pendulum stroke that we've been talking about for all these years, sets it up, and you just let it swing. Just like this. The belly putter is the same way. There's a lot of different lengths with belly putters. So we now have the ability to fit belly putters and long putters by adjusting the length of the club. So come out here and try a few and see which one works best for you. Okay, we're here with the belly putter and I want to talk about different ways to use it. If you watch the PGA Tour, these guys do it, everybody does it a little bit differently, but there are some consistencies that you, you may see and with the belly putter and long putter, you do have some options on how to use them. And if you look down the line, guys like Ernie Els, uh, Webb Simpson, they put their eye line right over the golf ball. So when they set the club, their eyes are directly over the golf ball, which allows them to take that putter straight back or just on a slight arc back and through to help them. You look at a guy like Keegan Bradley, you'll notice that he stands very far away from the ball. So he's more in this position with his eye line much more inside the golf ball. This is going to make the putter arc a little bit more inside and around. So keep that in mind as you're trying these things out. You want to find out just what works best for you. The whole idea with putting is getting that ball started at the target and having proper pace. So when trying the belly putter, really take a look at where your eye line is and the arc of your putting stroke. Okay, well now we're going to discuss the long putter and how to use it. And believe it or not, I've had a long putter since 1999. And a lot of guys here at the club joke around and say, you're not old enough to use that putter. But um, honestly, it's more about wisdom than age. So I, I think it's a great tool. I go back and forth. I, I have a long putter, I have a short putter, and I've always tried to make it through at least one season with the long putter. But um, for those of you with a bad back, it's a great way to stand up and you can practice your putting a lot longer. Um, keep that in mind. It, to, if you do have a bad, bad back, it's, it's very easy to use. Um, and there's a lot of different ways to use it. I personally take my left hand, place it right in my sternum, have a slight bend to my knees, and the ball is just forward of center in my stance. And then I just take that club, I feel like I'm pulling it back with my right hand, and my shoulders just rock ever so slightly. It takes all the guessing out of play with your wrist hinge, so there's no left wrist breaking down. A lot of other players, Matt Kuchar being one of them, he'll take a little bit, lo a little shorter than this longer putter, and he'll just lay it right down against his left arm, and he'll take that same stroke just like this. And you see how your left wrist will not break down from this position. You can place the, place the putter just forward of center. Some people like to have it just back of center. I would try all these different varieties of ways to do it and see which one works best for you. If you have any questions about any of these putters or any things we've talked about during these tips, please stop in the golf shop and see us.